get more now on Bernanke's future with two former Federal Reserve Bank presidents, Al Brodus of the Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond and CNBC contributor Bob McTeer of the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas. Gentlemen, thank you very much for weighing in on such an important day. We appreciate you joining us. Nice to be here. Mr. Brodus, let me begin with yeah. you. What do you think uh, should happen here? Should Bank, uh, Bernanke be uh, reconfirmed? Absolutely. I, 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 I can't add anything. Uh, to what Alan Greenspan uh, said uh, uh, that you broadcast a, a few minutes ago. I, I agree absolutely. Uh, uh, Chairman Bernanke has undoubtedly made some mistakes, uh, but by and large, I don't think it's a stretch, Maria, to say that he probably saved both the country, uh, well, Wall, uh, the economy and the country, and that includes Main Street as well as Wall Street, from a real financial calamity, and I think he's by far the best person to lead us out of this. There are lots of issues still ahead of us. Uh, he's, he's really uniquely qualified. He has the intellectual capacity. He has the experience. So I, think it's, I think it's really critically important that he get reconfirmed and that we move on. And Bob McTeer, you know, we just spoke with Alan Greenspan uh, over the telephone through a spokesperson, and, and Mr. Greenspan said uh, Ben Bernanke is far and away the best person to lead the Fed uh, going forward. He should be reconfirmed as soon as possible. Now, why do you think suddenly we are seeing the upset and concern and, uh, and negativity uh, from both sides, Republicans and Democrats, on Bernanke right now? It's un unbelievable to me. Uh, you know, he's done a magnificent job over these past two years, and he ought to be reconfirmed by acclamation. And our politicians, instead of leading, instead of showing any courage, seem to be trying to outdo each other in becoming populist and following populist rhetoric. And the rhetoric uh, doesn't really have any principles behind it. It's just, just say no to everything. I, I don't, I'm very disappointed in our in our political leaders. Uh, Al, let me ask you this. Democr Democratic Senator uh, Russ Feingold uh, is really joining the uh, chorus of critics here today, and he says that the Fed permitted, quote, irresponsible financial activities to the financial crisis. Senator Barbara Boxer also saying our next Fed chairman must represent a clean break from the failed policies of the past. Do you agree with any of those comments? Well, I think I, I really think they exaggerate the situation. As I said before, Maria, there's no question that some mistakes were made, and some were made by the Fed. And in particular, as as Ben Bernanke him, himself said in that recent speech, uh, some of our shortcomings on the regulatory side uh, really do need to be looked at and corrected. Now, but, why do you but think? By and large, yeah. from a macro standpoint, I think he did about as good a job. I agree with Bob McTeer. As, as anyone could have done under the circumstances. Mom, they're all very aggressive on Bernanke and not as aggressive on Tim Geithner. Why is that? Well, I guess because Bernanke has a, uh, a vote coming up. Um, but if but they I, want to I don't talk know. about I think, irresponsible I think Geithner, I think actions during the financial crisis, they were all in it together, right? Right. It was... Uh, Bernanke, Henry Paulson, and, uh, and Mr. Geithner, and all three did a, a great job, in my opinion. We, we, sent, we seem to be forgetting the way things were in the fall of uh, 08. We forget how close we were to a second Great Depression, and they pulled us back. And, uh, and it, no good deed goes unpunished, I guess, is the, is the uh, lesson here. If, if we were to see this uh, process uh, play out and, and, and Bernanke is not reconfirmed, what kind of a reaction might we see, Al? I mean, as far as a market reaction, as far as an economic uh, response, what do you think happens? How does that play out? Well, I, I think the reaction is likely to be negative. I think you're seeing some of that in this market uh, behavior this afternoon. I think, you know, Warren Buffett uh, the other day made a comment along these lines. Uh, but, you know, whatever the, the market short-run reaction might be, Maria, I, I, think the, I think many of us who've been in this business uh, for a long time, a lot of people who have, have observed it, believe that Bernanke is uniquely qualified to deal with a situation like this. So I think that if he is not concerned, I mean, not reconfirmed, there's going to be uh, uh, confidence uh, uh, in the Fed is going to be reduced at a time 
where it really needs to be reinforced and, and strengthened uh, uh, rather than reduced. I mean, is it better to have someone who doesn't have ties to what has gone on over the last uh, two years or ties to the financial system in general? That's what seem, they seem to be saying. Al? Well, Bob? Well, well, well he was an academic, and, and at one point they were, they were complaining that he was not street smart, and now they're complaining right. that he's too close. It's yeah. amazing. Well, he certainly was street smart uh, on the weekend, that fateful weekend when Lehman went down. Gentlemen, thank you very much. We will uh, see you soon, and we appreciate you spending the time and giving us your insights on that.